while I was going through Twitter, I just realized something. Jeremy Lin is an NBA champion. Shout out to Jeremy Lin. Woo! I don't even know where you're sitting at. Like. <laughs> <laughs> A laugh. For the Toronto Raptors, it all started with a laugh from Kawhi Leonard. Back on Media Day, had a weird laugh, became a meme, but now they're NBA champions, so I guess you could say they got the last laugh. Yeah, that was cheesy, I know, but the Toronto Raptors won the 2019 NBA title against the Golden State Warriors. Um, Golden State, their last game in the Oracle Arena. And their last three games in the Oracle Arena were losses. Tonight against Toronto and the last two against Toronto. That's three losses. Last one they ever had in the Oracle was against Portland in the Western Conference Finals. But, yeah. Uh, as for the game, it was actually a really good game. Um, well, from what I saw, I watched the second half. First half, I was busy. I was actually playing a basketball game. And Speaking of, I was playing a basketball game. And this is our team jersey. So, it seems appropriate tonight um but yeah raptors so i was playing that but second half i was able to watch and yeah pretty good stuff you had some you had van vliet going off in the fourth quarter he hit the go-ahead three he had another shot i mean they were he was doing pretty solid he ended up with 22 on the night that light bulb i'm done with it flickering i'm replacing it after tonight um, Serge Ibaka, the GOAT, he should have won finals MVP because he's the GOAT. We're making a podcast episode dedicated to him. Um, 7 to 12 shooting 15 off the bench. So bench, only three people played off the bench, but two of them combined for 37 points. And then Norman Powell didn't score. He only took two shots on 11 minutes. But finals MVP was Kawhi Leonard, obviously. Uh, he's had a great series. He's scored 30 plus in multiple games. Uh, but tonight, the first half, Kyle Lowry was on fire, 21 points, and he ends up with 21 points and 10 assists, or along with seven rebounds. He almost fouled out. He was getting, he's got a foul issue. He fouls everyone all the time. But near the end of the game, he had five or four fouls, I think, in the middle of the third or something. So he had to sit the rest of the third. He comes back in the fourth, and he gets another foul. I think it was like with a minute left. So he did a good job containing himself, and it was. Mm, he got trucked by someone, but he wasn't set, I guess. And then Pascal Siakam had a really good game. 10 of 17 shooting, 26 points, along with 10 rebounds. And then your finals MVP, Kawhi Leonard, had 22 points. So not an incredible performance, but, you know, good enough to get him by. And the ending was really weird because Toronto was up by one. And it it got weird because they they went for the go ahead shot okay so he, here's the whole scenario so Toronto has the ball right and Kawhi gets the inbounds they throw it back cuz they advance the ball Kawhi gets it he gets a double team he launches it to Danny Green Danny Green's open he gets the ball he's trying to avoid Draymond Draymond's all on him he slapped him a couple times it was fine Danny Green tries to throw a curve ball to Siakam Siakam misses it goes out of bounds Warriors ball with like 10 seconds left or something so then the Warriors go down. They set a play where they said it was a Brad Stevens play. I don't know what that means. I guess Brad Stevens wrote up the play. But um, Curry runs up to the ball. They don't give it to him. They th oh, th throw it over Draymond's head. He catches it. Almost went out of bounds. Then Draymond gives it to Curry. Curry takes an off balance three. Misses it badly. Scramble for the rebound. It goes backcourt. There's three Warriors on top of it. And they're all going, going timeout. Timeout, timeout. Draymond calling timeout. Quinn Cook calling timeout. Iguodala calling timeout. And they're like, timeout, Warriors. Oh, let me check the book. Let me. Oh, Chris Weber, when did you get here? Yeah, they didn't have any timeouts left. So, technical foul on Golden State. Toronto hits the free throw, gets the ball back. Then they inbound the ball. They loft it over to Kawhi's head. Kawhi catches it, throws it up, throws it in. They don't count it, and they call the foul before the ball was inbounded. He makes both free throws. The Warriors chuck a full-court shot miss, and the Toronto Raptors win the NBA Finals. But, yeah, that's that's a quick recap of how the game ended. But big topic, Kawhi Leonard, not what he's going to do next year. We'll make talk about that in a separate video. But the move, the guts, one of the gutsiest moves – by the Raptors organization to trade for Kawhi Leonard, knowing he is an expiring contract, 
and trying to basically what happened with Paul George, but this was a more success story. They won the finals. Um, obviously, you get Kawhi Leonard, uh, two side, both sides of the ball can dominate. Um, obviously, one of the best players in the league, in my opinion, third best player in the league right now. So absolutely incredible, as I said. And then you also get Danny Green, who's a nice, good asset there. And I'm done with you. No. Uh, then you have to give up your superstar, another superstar, DeMar DeRozan. But Kawhi Leonard, obviously a better player than De DeMar DeRozan. All due respect to DeMar DeRozan. He did a lot for Toronto. But he's a really good player. But he was ne never able to get it done for Toronto. And they needed to change, so they got rid of Dwayne Casey. They got rid of DeRozan. And they ended up getting Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green. Uh, Kawhi Leonard obviously had the bigger impact. Uh, don't get me wrong, I think Danny Green helped, but Kawhi, bigger impact. I think that's pretty well known. But as example, Danny Green didn't take a shot tonight, played 18 minutes. Kawhi played 41 minutes. But, yeah. So, obviously, that was the big move in the offseason last year. Uh, Kawhi wanted to be traded. He was frustrated with the situation in San Antonio. But... Yeah, obviously the question, will he stay, will he not stay? Uh, it's it's tough, it's tough to say. He was pretty excited after the game, obviously, when he won the championship, especially against the last two champions. Kawhi has now taken down two teams that had a chance at a 3 peat 2012-2013. Miami won consecutive, and then Kawhi came in and stopped the third. Same thing here with the Warriors, stopped the third, even though there were some injuries. Oh, yeah, Clay Thompson, forgot to cover that. He did get hurt in this game. He had a knee injury. He went down. He went back to the locker room, got carried, and he limped back out, shot his free throws. But he was out for the game, and he was on crutches. So hoping that he is okay, hoping that it's not a severe injury, like a torn ACL or anything like that, uh, that he will be okay for next season. He is another free agent with a chance at a big contract because he's pretty dang good. But, um, yeah, hoping that he's all right. Um, but, yeah, Toronto went pretty crazy. Just go look up Toronto Raptors fans going crazy. But yeah, that's all I got for tonight. Sergi Baca should have won finals MVP because he's the GOAT. Back when he was in Oklahoma City, I miss him now. Um, but yeah, congratulations to the Raptors. Their first ever NBA Finals win, or their first NBA championship. So congratulations to them. Congratulations to the organization for pulling off that risky move to get Kawhi. And shout out to Sergi Baca, the GOAT. The uh, second GOAT behind Steven Adams. But yeah, that's basically it. That was a brief summary. It's late, so if I miss something, I'm sorry. If I, I yeah, but that that'll wrap it up. If you liked this video, leave it a big fat like. That make me very happy. Uh, if you want to, is it on? If you want to subscribe to the channel, you should do that. Yeah. Thanks for watching.